when we solved our, solved our uh, Blue Ridge hot tub problem, uh, we've obtained uh, a unique optimal solution. However, uh, the rest, there are some special cases in linear programming, and one of them is that we might have more than one optimal solution for a given problem. And here is the, an example where we, we will obtain it. Uh, in this example, what I modified in the original problem is I changed in the objective function, I changed the 350, there was 350 here, profit per aqua spa was $350, I changed it to $300. This is, um, <coughs> this is something that might happen in real life very easily, right? Imagine that we've overestimated the profit per unit. Maybe the price was too high, we had to lower the price, or maybe the costs were underestimated, right? And the profit is actually lower. So we might ask ourselves, what changes now? What happened? First of all, notice that the feasible region does not change because the constraints are exactly the same as they were. We still have the same constraints, nothing changed there, so the feasible region that is here is still the same. Uh, now, the changes in the objective, so what will be affected is we, we, we don't have to select the same optimal solution. This used to be an optimal solution, but it is not guaranteed to be optimal now since the objective changed. We have to see what uh, how does this change in the objective uh, changes which solution uh, is uh, will be selected so uh, again let's do let's uh, let's use the level curve method to determine um, the optimal solution we could use any of the two methods level curves or corner point enumeration um, but i'm going to use level curves so let's assume um, some kind of value for uh, for the objective function as before so let's say 300 x1 plus 300 x2 equals, I'm going to assume in this case um, 15,000 because it's easy to divide 15,000 by 300. So if x1 is 0, x2 will be 15,000 over 300 equals 50. And similarly, if x2 equals 0, then x1 will be 15,000 over 300 as well, so it's 50. So we have those two points, 50, uh, 0, f um, uh, this is 0, 50, and 50, 0, two points. One of them is here, one of them is here. And therefore, we can draw the, this level curve for 15,000 like this. Now, um, we need another uh, curve, right? We can now draw, let's say, for 30,000, I'm going to double the value. So if I draw 300x1 plus 300x2 equals 30,000, then, of course, if you try x1 equals 0, you'll have x2 equals 100. If you try x2 equals 0, you'll have x1 100. That's one of the easy cases, right? So we're crossing 0, 100, and 100, 0. And again, we have a level curve that looks like this. So as you can see, the objective function looks very similar, but it has slightly, uh, the, the level curves have uh, will look very similar to the case before, but they have slightly different slope, right? If you remember the intersections that we had here, they are slightly at, at slightly different points. And what will happen if I now take this uh, line and uh, move it further into the direction of improvement. So if I take this line and try to move it further, look at what happens, right? I can still move it further and I can reach this part. And, and what happens here? What do we see? Well, we don't see just uh, uh, intersection. This line just doesn't just intersect with one feasible point. It intersects with uh, one segment of the boundary, right? the segment that is defined by the pumps constraint. If I take it any further, of course this will be too far, I, I don't have any feasible solutions. Uh, below I have um, solutions that are worse because they are on a lo lower level, cur level curve. So this, this, m this must be the highest level curve I can use, right? Somewhere here. And, and now that shows me that, okay, this corner point, this corner point, is an optimal solution. 
and this corner point is also an optimal solution, right? So from previous calculations we know already this corner point so I can take their, uh, their coordinates, right? They were the 122, 78, the point that was originally an optimal solution and this point was 80 and 120, originally this was not an optimal solution its profit value was worse. But uh, is it the same case now? No, it isn't. We have a different objective function. One number changed, 300, it, used, it was 350. So if I try to recompute now the values of the objective function, what am I going to see? I will have, for, for this point, I will have value which is 300 times um, 122 x1 plus 300 times 78. Now that's actually 300 and 300 here I can take it out of the um, before the sum and I have a sum of 300 times sum of 122 plus 78 and that is 300 times 200 which gives me 60,000. Right? The profit actually is less than it was before. But that's obvious because we just decreased one of the profit coefficients. The total profit also decreased. Now this one decreased too, but it didn't decrease as much. It uh, it was the decrease is lower because here x1 has a lower value. So we have here what 300 times 80 plus 300 times 120. Right? And if you again do the same thing, it is again 300 times 200. And notice that gives us exactly the same 60,000. And that actually confirms what we are seeing here. This level curve overlaps with this segment and therefore all those solutions here, these two corner points, two corner points in particular, are optimal solutions. This is maximum profit we can get and this is also maximum profit we can get. So what do we know from this? Well, we know that um, um, points optimal solutions in this case are what are they? Um, 80, 120 right, this is an optimal solution also 122, 78 but also and all points on the segment between them. Optimal solutions are all points on the segment between this point and this point, right? So optimal solutions will be these points, all these points. So this is an example in which we have multiple optimal solutions, more than one optimal solution. Notice that still uh, corner, corner points are uh, candidates, first candidates for optimal solutions, but when you have um, more than one corner point that is optimal, right, we call this case multiple optimal solutions or alternate optimal solutions but notice also that all points in between are optimal solutions so for example so the, if, if I, I want you to realize that there is a, an infinite number here of points because we are in a continuous space and therefore there is uh, there is an infinite number of possible solutions of course in practice we might be interested in integer in points but uh, in, in mathematical terms there is an infinite number of points so for example I could say there is somewhere here a point right that is 100 and 100 right 100 and 100 right it is it is on the line I can tell because 100 plus 100 equals 200 that satisfies the pump constraint with equality and this point here right gives me what value well, it's also going to be 300 times 100 plus 300 times 100, right? That's 300 times 200. It's still 60,000 
dollars and it is also maximal profit so this is also an optimal solution so this is what we mean optimal solutions are those two corner points and all points on the segment in between them the question you may ask yourself is to so which point do we select right if we are the business that wants to um, decide uh, what how many units how many aquas pass how many hydroloxes to produce you have a choice now you don't have to in order to maximize profit you don't have to select one and only one solution you have a choice you can select any combination on this segment this red segment right you may ask yourself so which one do we select well th there are two things to look at here uh, one is this model according to this model there is no difference right in this model all of them give us the, the highest possible profit so according to this model choose whatever you wish right um, in some assignments I might ask you provide all optimal solutions then of course you have to list or describe them like this optimal solutions are this and this and all points in between if there are multiple solutions but in practice we have to adopt one of them right and we can adopt any but often in practice you can think of other objectives you can think of other objectives that may help you decide which one and for example uh, one such objective could be well, it would be good to have a, a, a uh, more or less equal values right balanced production so for example in this ex in this case 100 100 could be considered a better solution because you're producing the same number of both products or we might have preference for producing more aquaspas or more hydroluxes or there could be other reasons for selecting one of them right but from the from the perspective of this model when this coefficient is changed to 300 the model has multiple optimal solutions and um, and and these are indicated here.